Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and this one goes out to the math teachers. I'd like to share with you the Google Chrome extension Equate.io, or Equate.io, I'm not totally sure, um, but this used to be known as GMath. So the way you get this extension, which allows you to input math and mathematical functions into various places, is at the Chrome Web Store. Keep in mind you have to be either signed into your browser or signed into a Chromebook to actually install this. Uh, and if you need help with that, go check out one of our previous videos in the comment section of this video. But uh, to get to your Chrome Web Store, you can either search out the Chrome Web Store in Google, or if you're on a Mac or PC, click the Rainbow Apps and click the Web Store. Once you're here in the upper left-hand corner, you want to search for Equate. I O. It's kind of like equation without the N. It's going to be probably the top extension that appears. It's this one here, uh, Equatio Math Made Digital. And since I've already installed it, I have this green button. You will probably have a little plus that says add to Chrome. Click on that, allow, and you'll see that the Equatio or Equate IO um, extension appears in the extension area of your Chrome browser. Great, so what do I do with it? Well, if I head over to Google Docs, when I click on that extension, it brings up this area on the bottom of the page, and I can either enter in math uh, with the math editor where I can type it in. If you're familiar with latex code, you can write latex. I'm not. Evidently, you can speech input, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried it. Um, but you can write, which I thought was kind of neat. So if I wanted exponents, because that's always a tricky thing, I could do like 10 to the fourth. And you notice uh, on the right-hand side, I get a little preview. And all I have to do is click insert math and poof, it goes into the doc as a picture, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, the other option I thought was pretty neat. It's, it seems like it's pretty technical. I started thinking, okay, what if I do like some differentials? And I, I don't even know if this is correct. I'm going back like way back into my calculus and PCHEM days. Um, D, T, D, uh, yeah, I don't even know, but you, you get the idea. It picks it up. You kind of have to be neat with your handwriting, so I assume a touchscreen stylus thing would be helpful here. Um, this also works in Google Forms, which means math teachers, you can use Google Forms to do math quizzes. It's a little bit different. You'll see when I click on it, it says, no, 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 that's not how it works. Instead, you click on the little icon next to where you want to put, or where you want to put the math in. Keep in mind, it inserts it as a picture, but you can do that for both the question and the answers. What? Um, you can do this in Google Sheets, but it puts it in as an image, right? So you'll see if I put in like 10 to the fourth again, when I go to insert it, it says it's an image file. So not so good, but you can do it in Sheets. So this works in all of the core Google apps. That's awesome. So math teachers, there you go. So there you have it. There is the Equate.io or Equate.io extension for the Google Chrome browser. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please feel free to reach out to me. And as always, thank you for watching.